March 14th, 2020. This is when they got the reaction after the predicted end of the world fails to happen by Harold Camping. explain it to you because you did spend a lot of money putting out the billboards and putting your retirement fund out there because you believed which is a great thing now because what happened was back on May 21st 2011 there was that was the beginning of God's judgment and it was a seven-year tribulation period and then but in the end it's a tackle in those two years of killing those children two years and under and it comes to nine years which is eight full years the seventh and of the eighth so you did exactly what you're supposed to do and the same reaction i had too i didn't understand what the hell happened and what went wrong but i do know this it's happening now the next year 2012 maybe no no this is the year all the calculations indicate this is the year it's locked in for 2011 so i don't understand why nothing has happened yet well obviously i haven't understood it correctly because we're still here what's going to happen tonight either we're all screwed or great and i'm gonna go so i'm gonna go fishing this summer If we ended up dying here at Times Square, I mean, I just sort of wish that they would have dropped the ball at 6 p.m. And uh, we would have seen what happened. We were trying to film. Remember that dropping the ball at 6 p.m. on May 21st, 2020. Oh my God, really all that happened at 6 was that my batteries died on my camera. Pretty excited. A little let down. I went on a spending spree, went out, partied hard last night, didn't work out. Now I hey, how's your spending spree going now, as of today, March 14th, 2020? Store shutting down on you, huh? Gotta go get a, get a few more hours of work. Doomsday is coming, June 25th is now. Doctor Who, I don't know about that. The Rapture, 2,000 years, any day now. Camping's numbers don't add up. That's because he started it. The numbers add up now when you just take that seven-year tribulation period and those two years, and then you calculate it as eight full years surprised at all it's it's an interesting uh situation how about how about as of today are you surprised it's the same message it's from harold camping because we do believe there will be a rapture i mean all these things are in the bible but it's also very clear that no one knows the day and the hour so when someone comes out and says they know the day and the hour we we know it's false well i know the day and the hour the day is may 21st the hour 6 p.m., the year's 2020, and everything that Harold Camping thought was going to happen back then is going to happen this year. This is the beginning of it. everything shutting down is perfect timing. I mean, it gives you it gives you like two months of look when Click dies. The reason why he needs to die, right? According to the YouTube script. Is because he needs to get into his little um he needs to get all the stuff set up and he needs to get into a groove and then start producing all these 
because look, the streets are cleared out. It's making e it's making it easy for Click to go by these these areas and just shoot the show out in the streets. Because when martial law is standing out front of your door, really soon they're, they're, you'll see it. It's they they they're shutting down everything. So as they start shutting it down, eventually gets to the fact that you'll be on house arrest inside of your house, and martial law will be surrounding you. Because you're surrounded, it limits your ability to go anywhere. You can't just go to the store and pick anything else up. You can't, well, they're going to have, Walmart's going to be open, Target's going to be open. Trump's making sure of that. This is a pestilence that is killing the entire world. These are the things that Harold Camping was talking about that were going to come upon the earth. May 21st, 2011. And then he was, then it was a five month period of the scorpions stinging men. And then the end would be. But see, because we're already at the end going to eight full years, there's a shorter amount of time that we have to go through to the remaining. It's like a detox. The world's going to, to detox. So you're all going to be fine. Every, nobody's dying unless you, do, unless you do something stupid. That's on you. Other than that, there's nobody out there that's actually our enemy. There's still some people that are on the inside that don't know yet. But to, to the main people that already know what they're going to do, it's already set in stone. This is a way of getting a reset into the entire, the entire, the ends of the earth. There's going to be a reset. And the reset started with, with Harold Camping warning us about May 21st, 2011. So here we are. They've taken Harold Camping's script and they're going to play it out. So everybody that was mocking back then, look... If you're one of them, and you, I'm, I will guarantee you there's quite a few on my channel because you guys know who Harold Camping is, and you guys were the ones calling in and uh, trolling him. But he handled you pretty well, didn't he? But see, you were mocking him back then, and then you're mocking me at, I don't know about right at, at this moment, but you were. The more serious it gets the more you're going to take me serious. I ask for this. When I go out in the streets and I see these store, everybody's talking about it, everybody's shutting down, the wine and spirits is shut down, they're shutting down now by Tuesday, the mail, everything's going to shut down. It's just, it's what they got to do because Jonathan Clegg has to, he needs to leave the scene so he can go behind the scenes and really get to work and do his greatest work that we've ever seen before. Because we're not, he doesn't have to get up and give an update or any, and pretend that he's still here. He can just do his little trick, fall from his airplane, have the parachute malfunction, die, and then three days later, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'll put the prediction out there now. But that's a good theory, I guess. We'll just have to wait and see when it happens. Well, yeah, I'm put my theory out there now. Now that you just mentioned it. Uh, Donald Trump dies on the 19th of March. He he's the he's the one that's going to be because you know Click has to do it too, but I think Click does it on his birthday, 316, which is in two days, and then that way when three days later comes by, something majorly devastating happens, and uh, and Trump dies from the coronavirus. He said he got tested today. You know, it's it's so, it's it's just hilarious that these people are they're up there acting, and I can't take them serious whatsoever. But uh, Trump, I I hope I really do hope that you understand that this is a. I just hope you're not part of the race that Cleck has to deceive. 
you might be the you might be but then again you, you're a mason you, you have that script right in front of you and i think you know i think you know you know better trump i think you know better Stephen james and sean knows better and jonathan cleck knows better the, the three frogs i think he's all know better but it's happening here it is this is the reaction of people after the prediction of the end of the world for harold camping the false prophet But with Trump, I think that he'll he, – see, they all have to disappear for a few days. But the reason why I think Cleck would go first is because he would have to go first. And then like three days later, Trump would have to go or vice versa um, to kind of get you to believe the different dispositions that they're trying to play out, the, the people that are playing out Christ that we know. When that happens, when Trump dies and has a wounded head, and then Obama takes over, I don't know if he takes over right away or Trump has to, you know, Trump has to prophesy for 40 days. That's the thing that needs to happen. So which means the, the, the rapture can't happen right now. It's just Kleck is going to, Kleck is going to die. That's his script. And then Trump, three days later, he dies of the coronavirus, but then three days later he comes back. And he prophesies for 40 days. And then I guess do the, well, let me do the math on that. So either way, when, when Cleck dies, you got three days later, whatever happens, if he pops back up or if he's just going behind the scenes, that it's 40 days, which is April 28th, 2020. And if you take... If you just take uh, three days from there, if, if Trump decides to get up on th like three two two, that seems a little bit more likely. Two three two 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 three, and he gets up. That leads you right to May first, twenty twenty, and then, and then, it'll be. I think the rapture might happen on that day instead because they got to play the twenty one days of Daniel. Or is it 21 days afterwards because they'll try to interpret the Bible as, and at that time my people shall be delivered, everyone written in the book, which is after the, you know how um, the angels being held up for 21 days and then, and then it's like another, it seems like it's another three week period. Or it's the 21 days, and then after the 21 days, that's when my people shall be delivered. And then they'll show a fake rapture on the 21st of May, 20th, 20, 21st, 22nd, evening, morning, midnight, or, uh, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. They do that. And then, then you'll have a 10-day tribulation period. Because it'll be, as soon as the rapture, it's like this. As soon as the rapture happens, it's all hell just complete annihilation like really really fast so before that trump has to die of the coronavirus have a wounded head and then he'll live three days later and he'll be on tv for 40 days and then everybody's going to be calling him the messiah and he's going to pretend he has no idea who he is or whatever uh in the meantime Kleck is behind the scenes like the Wizard of Oz, he's setting sh up shop. He has the curtain. He's getting ready to get behind the curtain and just do his magic. Miracles, signs, wonders. <laughs> in the earth. This is who's doing it. it. Jonathan Click is behind the scenes. The guy that's in charge of everything. With the money, everything. It, it's, his, uh, it's his plan to script. I don't know how far he planned on going truly, but it comes to an end. This is going to be the greatest summer. I'm telling you. It's the greatest summer. Or it could be wrong. Or May 21st comes around and it's five months of being stung. Either way, I don't, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not getting stung. I'll be fine, just like you will be. Just as long as you don't run from the fear to noise, 
because the coronavirus is making a lot of noise right now. A lot of places are just shutting down. Everything's shutting down. It's not going to open back up. Not until you have the mark of the lamb. That way you can buy or sell. Other than that, the ones that don't, you're going to be buying and selling all the way up until that point. So 40 days, and then the 21 days of Daniel, taking you to May, let's see what day. Thursday, Friday. I did a video last year, May 3rd bombs. Iran will drop bombs on Israel slash America. I'm sticking with it. Could be the first, though. But it's right in that area. Martial law being declared. It's already here. The business of the end of the world is not our business. So, so you're calling him a psychotic Harold Camping. Let me see what channel this is. So I'm going to need you to be held responsible. McCain is through X. Psychotic hook Harold Camping predicts that the world will come to a screeching halt on Saturday, May 21st, 2011, specifies it should be around dinner time. Lunatic Harold Camping predicts the rapture from a book of known... Where are you at here? Of known fiction. The Bible. Like all religious kooks who buy their dogma, camping is invariably wrong. Having incorrected the world would end previously in September 1994. The kook needs to be medicated. Well, hey McCain, who is uh, X is through. How do you feel about Harold Camping's prediction now as I am the person delivering it on planet Earth to the entire world and I am referring to Harold Camping being the first one to deliver it and I'm the second one to finish it and it's happening now. So let's hear the details of what we're going to see exactly eight years later. That's God's business. Welcome to Open Forum. Hello, Brother Camping. Yeah. I wanted to thank you so much for all of your hard, rewarding work. And I was just curious as to whether on the last day, on the Great Earthquake, will the graves of animals that were buried be opened? And will I have no them? idea. The Bible doesn't talk about that. The, bar the animals are not not in the in the focus at all and when it comes to the day of judgment uh, it is mankind they are the ones that were created in the image of god they are the ones that are that are subject to the wrath of god because the wages of sin is death the animals are not and so whether the animals come out of their graves or not i have no, or wherever they have been disposed of uh, the Bible doesn't give us one word about that. And then when the ocean gives up its dead, is that a different time than... I have no idea how this is all going to go, but I do know this, that anyone who is raptured well, and has, uh, who has become a true believer before he died any time during the last 13,000 years, his bones or corpse or dust or ashes or whatever um, molecules are still left will be resurrected a glorified spiritual body because God has, that, has made that commitment to mankind that we will be in the new heaven and the new earth with a brand new body as well. Now, of course, the body isn't literal. It's a spiritual body. It's a brand new body. The body of Christ is the body. It's not a literal body. Just like the graves being tossed out of the graves is not literal. 
Harold Camping thought these things were literal because he didn't understand it spiritually at the time, but he understood so much, so many things spiritually besides that, that that's where I've gotten my information from and understood it. And that's where Kleck got his information from and understood it. It's where they all got it from Harold Camping. He's the one that started it. So when the graves are open, it's all the spiritual walking dead. The ones that just can't see what's going on. It's you guys. The spiritual dead. You're going to wake up first. There's going to be a great earthquake when that happens. But there's also going to be another. There's going to be a spiritual earthquake when something happens before that. Say like a you know, like a Jonathan Cleck death on his birthday or your know, second 9-11 happened in Philadelphia, something like that. It's a There's going to be part of the earth is going to quake and wake up and the dead are going to be raised first. It's like 7,000 men. It's only like 7,000 will be slain because they'll see that first because it has to do with Cleck and what he's doing in my hometown. And then at the end, the earthquake... On May 21st, 2020, that's going to wake up the entire world. Everybody who's not watching my video, all of them, everybody. Every single person that doesn't, has never clicked on my video, doesn't know, have a clue, they won't know. They'll be deceived all the way to the very end. But the ones that are going to wake up soon are the surveillers, the trolls, the agents, the ones that don't even know what Kleck is really doing. That's why when you that's why you're gonna believe me because you know that you're watching me from the outside and I'm telling you what your your boss is gonna do and then when it does happen, that's when you'll realize it and be slain by the word of God. And then you'll start to come on my side. But at the same time, when you understand what Kleck is doing both sides, my side and his side, meets in the middle. And if there becomes a handshake of mutual respect, because the ultimate goal is to get everybody to turn back to God and create a new heaven and a new earth. It's a reset. Start planting your gardens. You know, start growing some, some f food and some vegetables. Like start a new Garden of Eden, literally. And just don't go anywhere. You're going to have to do without. You're going to have to eat less, drink less. You know, you're going to have to just do less things. Get adapted to it. And the best way to do that is through a fast. You do these fasts and it gets you prepared for the apocalypse. Our new soul. Yes, and it does state that in Daniel chapter 12 as well, that by the glory of God, he will raise up Daniel in the last day, and he will stand in his lot. Yes. And I thank him yeah, for it. Yeah. Yes, he will be raised. You're welcome. I, I, You know, you sound like a sincere caller. He will raise up Daniel in the last day, and he will stand in his lot. Yes. And I thank him yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. He will be resurrected just like uh, David will be and Abraham and uh, and uh, all the people that have ever died with just a tiny few exceptions. Moses is already in heaven. Enoch is. Elijah is. And there's another little tiny handful that went up into heaven in their bodies the, the morning that the Lord Jesus rose from the grave when he demonstrated how he uh, was buried. But thank you for calling in, sir. This nut job thinks that human exist will end today, Saturday, May 20th, 2011. They always lie. It's, he said May 21st. He didn't say it would end, that everything would end. It was a five-month period. And they, they always twist his words. 
Saturday, May 21st, is the beginning of God's judgment. Get it? 1,500 millennial groups here in the U.S. Should we be worried about them? I thought I'd visit four groups and find out. I started in Oakland, California, at the headquarters of a fundamentalist Christian broadcaster, Harold Camping. He thinks the end is pretty near. You're predicting into the world for... Yeah. September. Right. So do you want to take us through... In Matthew 24, verse 21, it says, And then there will be great tribulation, such as this world has never known, nor ever shall know. In other words, it's the end. The evidence... Hey. Harold Camping, like myself, he seen the vision, and because he knew the vision in detail, in order, he tried to put a date on it. What else are you supposed to do? When you already know and you can see it, put a date on it. That way it, it all lines up in the end. My question is really, does knowing this have anything to do with our salvation? Uh, knowing the date? Well, yes. yes, it does, because it's... Uh, knowing the date? Well, yes. yes, it does, because it's very... The First Thessalonians chapter 5 is scary beyond measure, because there God starts out in that chapter and says, Now you know full well Christ is coming as a thief in the night. I mean, uh, this is, I wish you would go back to the traditional Western Christian belief instead of this sort of New Age thinking that you're really... Oh, excuse me. Like, no, 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 no. It is not New Age thinking at Harold. all. What does the Bible say? The wages of sin is death. The Bible says when you're dead, you're dead in your soul. You're dead in your body. Now, when you're dead, you're dead. And uh, it, uh, just because the church has had it all wrong, that does not give it any credence at all. God is a merciful God. Uh, God says he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Christ, uh, eternal God, Christ is demonstrating how he made payment for our sins when he came to demonstrate on the cross. And remember that he wept over Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that was under the wrath of God and was heading for uh, the judgment of God. And he wept over that almighty God, showing that kind of, of emotion, uh, indicating that God has no pleasure in just uh, like a monster. You, you think, of, think of a two-year-old, a three-year-old, uh, someone who who is just a little child, and they are not saved. Because if, if you grow up and not saved, it means when you were two or three years old, you were not saved. That baby dies. And, and you mean that God is going to punish that baby for eons of time, millions of years, in some horrible way? What kind of a God is this? That our church has had it all wrong, all wrong. It is, uh, it is not taught that way in the Bible at all. No, it is. Mr. It's funny because he, he attacked the churches, rightfully so. And I attacked the individual churches on YouTube, rightfully so. Captain, it is. It is a traditional fear of God. You're not having the traditional fear of God. Well, excuse me. The fear of God is to hate evil, we read in Proverbs. It is to hate evil. We don't, when we're a child of God, we don't fear God because we're frightened that if I sin, oh, maybe now, now I'm going uh, to, I'm going to be subject to the wrath of God. We, we have assurance from the Bible. Uh, like the Bible says, we can know finally that we are a child of God if we have an intense desire to do His will and so on. But we fear God in that we, 
We love him so much and we know that sin is not any part of our life. And so we, in that sense, we fear God. And so you can hold the traditional way if you wish. But I'll tell you, you don't have any uh, any biblical backup for that except what the churches have taught. And it's and if you go to Deuteronomy 25, for example, that God, it, I believe I've given the right reference, it indicates that that uh, uh, you can't uh, be punished for a crime beyond 40 stripes, uh, and and the and the Jews carried that out very carefully. No matter how much they hated a person, they never beat a man more than 39 stripes, and uh, and God is under the same rules that we are. God does not have two sets of laws. He's only got one set of laws. And if there's a limitation on punishment for mankind, uh, for evil that is done, you can believe it, that God also has a limitation on God's wrath. And the declaration is, the wages of sin is death. Eternal death. Eternal well, death. It, it, well, but when you're dead, you're dead. You're dead eternally. You're, you're, you're dead eternally. And you can, you can try to read See, it. The, the guy on the phone is already dead. He's, he's spiritually dead. Into that, but that means that you're going to be suffering some. No, in order to suffer, you have to be alive. You have to be alive. You're not dead if you're suffering in a place uh, uh, where there's eternal punishment forevermore. You're alive. Otherwise, you, uh, how can you how can you be suffering? How can you're dead? And so that whole business doesn't wash, and it is it is it is cruel beyond measure, way way beyond. The cruelty that that we can expect because of the wrath of God way beyond, and it shows that mankind has has that capacity to uh, to be cruel, cruel, cruel. Uh, and we better read the Bible carefully. Now that 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 was that fit very perfectly in the churches, because here is someone who has committed sin, and the preacher or the individual of the uh, the uh, the believer in the church goes to that person and says, "Oh man, you're you're unsaved. You're going to be roasting in hell forevermore under the bitter wrath of God forever." Wow, they just scared uh, the wits out of that individual. What can I do? Well, I'll tell you. You come to our church, <laughs> and we'll show you how you can mm. become saved. And so it was an enormous club that could be used you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that